गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई विल गिव यू स्मॉल इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट बारग्राफ ना वॉट इज बारग्राफ इट इज अ मैथड टू रिप्रेजेंट डेटा इन दिस मैथड विल रिप्रेजेंट डेटा ऑन ग्राफ पेपर हैव यू सीन ग्राफ पेपर स्टूडेंट आई विल शो यू वॉट इज ग्राफ पेपर दिस इज अ ग्राफ पेपर आई थिंक यू मस्ट हैव सीन दिस ग्राफ पेपर इन योर प्रीवियस क्लासेस ऑल्सो we will represent the bar graph on this graph paper we will draw bar graph on this graph paper so students the representation of data in the form of bars that is called bar graph example here is the example see representation of data in the form of bars these are bars and i have represented data in the forms of form of bar so this is called as bar graph now students i will tell you how to draw bar graph and also i will tell you that how many types of bar graph are there so there are two types of bar graph first one is single bar graph and second one is double bar graph so first we will discuss about single bar graph let's suppose marks of a student is are given in different subjects out of 10 example in english he got 7 marks in hindi he got 8 marks in maths he got 7 5 marks and in science he got 6 marks now i will tell you how you can represent these marks in the form of a bar graph in the given data we have two things that is subject and marks now we will represent these subject and marks in a bar graph now students subject will be represented on x axis and marks will be represented on y axis see english hindi maths and science they are represented on x axis and marks that is 0 1 2 3 4 and so on is represented on y axis now the first subject is english and english student got how many marks seven marks so how you will represent the seven marks on a bar graph to represent seven marks in english we will draw a bar from point 7 this bar represent students marks in english that is seven marks in english now in hindi he got 8 marks so from point 8 we'll draw a bar this is a bar this bar represent student marks out of 10 in hindi subject now in maths he got 5 marks so from point 5 we will draw a bar this bar represent student marks in maths out of 10 in maths out of 10 similarly in science he got 6 marks so from point 6 see we will draw a bar this bar represent student marks in science out of 10 so in this way we can draw bar graph this is called a bar graph and by this bar graph we can represent a given data so student now you will understand how you can draw a bar graph now student i will show you how to draw a double bar graph suppose these marks a student got in first semester in first semester now in second semester in second semester he got five marks in english in hindi he got seven marks in maths he got eight marks and in science he got nine marks then how will you draw a double bar graph i will show you so student in second semester student got how many marks five marks so from point a here in english subject so from point a you will draw another bar this bar will show you second sem marks 
Now in Hindi he got seven marks. So seven here. In Hindi he got seven marks. So seven marks. Like this. Now in maths he got eight marks. So eight marks. See. Eight marks. And in science he got 9 marks. So 9 marks. In this way you can draw a double bar graph. Now student you must have understand how you can draw a bar graph, a single bar graph and a double bar graph. So let's start solving our exercise 3.3. In our next video.